What are we doing? Oh, we made it here to Nakaray. Got a bit of a walk to do, so we'll see how we get on. There's a shot there of uh, Queen Maeve's Ken. With the Ox Mountains going round. It's just like a bay. So the wind's starting to pick up now. Dr. Ray in Sligo. Really looking forward to it. Uh, the weather's not too bad. It's a little bit on the windy side, so we'll see how we'll uh, how we'll get on. But uh, there's a lot of history there. I'm looking forward to showing it to you. So uh, stay tuned. Keep watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we're going to have a really good day. We've got two uh, two spots to have a look at. That's uh, Queen uh, Queen Maeve's uh, grave. And we've also got uh, the Glen, uh, which is a nice little hidden spot. Not well signposted, but uh, really looking forward to showing you that. Uh, so enjoy the show. Forty kilometres, not total, but one way. Um, travel time probably about forty odd minutes. Look at this nice canopy of trees as you're leaving. This is lovely old building here. And then we continue on, we're about 15 minutes away from our destination. Now we've still got uh, a bit to see before we uh, carry on here. Holy Lake at the moment, a uh, beautiful nice woodland area. Uh, Union Woods isn't far away, so in the previous video, in case you haven't seen it, I want to put a little uh, icon in the top right hand corner. Check that video out. Gorgeous, straight yeah. to the motorway. Um, so. Again, nice area, nice wooded area. There are stops along the way here um, where you can uh, go for a walk. The town of Bally Sadir. So if you guys have seen my Wild Atlantic Way um, experience, I'm going to put a link up in the top right hand corner where we went from uh, basically Bally Sadir all the way down to Ennis Grown. So be sure to check that video out. Uh, it's awesome, there's going to be some great scenery. Uh, I managed to get some great drone footage as well, so be sure to check that out. Um, I'll put it there in the top right hand corner. We're going to be taking a right here, so we're going to be taking all the back roads uh, to Nocturne. So, delighted with that. I thought we had to go on the motorway, but obviously not. And we're heading towards uh, Strand Hill, which is also in My Wild Atlantic Way Part 2 video. So, be sure to check that out, just in case you skip forward, top right hand corner. I'll uh, put a little bit, uh, information tab there so you can take you straight to that video. That's where we're headed. We're headed right up there. That is Nocturay. There's Queen May's grave on top. Uh, it's the second, I believe it's the second biggest uh, cairn in Ireland. Um, right up the top there. So really looking forward to that. There's Nocturay looming. And as we get closer and closer, we're about six minutes out. Got a beautiful view here on our left hand side look at that just gorgeous looking forward to the view at the top as well but uh yeah just fantastic we've got the ox mountains and something we, we've got to do here so there's a car park here it looks like there's a bit of a walk so the, it's going to be it's going to be good there's the pathway you can see directly ahead of us so we'll be parking here uh there's a little stall here this lady uh, sells a few bits We doing how we made it here to Nocturay. Got a bit of a walk to do, so we'll see how we get on. I uh, got the backpack sorted. Same as the same setup as uh, Union Rock. But check the ground here. Jeez, it's so bumpy. Oh, that's how far we got to go. It's 
tell you one thing, when I did that walk through Union Woods, I uh, didn't realize how unfit I was. So when you're on a motorbike, you're just going somewhere, getting off, and then back on the road again, you know? You don't really do much hiking. Around a friend here. <laughs> there you go. This is even at the summit. So we've got the Oxmans all the way across here. Union Rock is around there. My fingers pointing. It's family today. We've come from behind those mountains. Now we just stopped at a point here. Let's do a pan round. This whole area dates back to about 4,000, 2,500 BC. And this is the trail. Union Rock, we went to in the last video. Karakil. Link in the top right hand corner, that was the first video we did. We had a look at the passage tombs there. And uh, there's obviously various mountains. These are highlighting the various tombs in the area. This is just the start of things, but we've got Ben Bulbin on the right. That's where the uh, Glen uh, Glen and Nepal series in that area there. Beautiful view up here. Good day for it. Looks like we got some steps. That's the top there. I haven't got much more to go. I'll just have a short rest. It's starting to feel pretty good. It's almost like when I was at Union, Union Rock or Union Woods. And those long planks have got to a point and there's these uh, steps that go all the way up. Okay, we're coming up to the top here, almost, almost there. It's a, uh, just a bit more to go. You can just see how imposing that, that curtain is at the top. They say uh, it's bad luck to, to walk on them, apparently. And uh, it might uh, create a curse or something like that. So it's very bad luck to walk on the cairn, so don't think about doing it if uh, you're ever here. But uh, I'll tell you, that is one, one of the most strenuous hikes I've done in a long time. Because you're basically going up, it's not flat. Oh. Anyway, I'll see you in a sec. Oh, there's some information on Queen Maeve's Cairn. Goes back to Neolith Neolithic times, 4,000 to 2,500 BC. We're at the top of uh, Queen Maeve's Cairn. It's on my right hand side here. As I said, it was the second, it's the second largest uh, cairn in Ireland. And um, the, the site here is, done, uh, is dotted with about another five, five cairn smaller ones, obviously. And there was also a detail of a Neolithic settlement uh, down on my right hand side all the way around here and there's even some roundhouses on the left side of the uh, of the mountain in case you're not sure what roundhouses were during the Neolithic period obviously the houses were round and they were made of stone uh, hence why the the term kind of roundhouses stuck and uh, Queen Maeve and she ruled about three and a half thousand BC thereabouts the uh, story goes, obviously, that she's uh, buried upright here to face her enemies in, uh, inside. And it's what they refer to as a passage tomb. Now, a passage tomb in Karakil, for those that saw that video, I'll put a link up in the, uh, the right-hand corner there. You can check that out. Karakil has a passage, the passage tombs consisting of a long passage. And then you've got the, call it the tomb and that on the, uh, on the end. So uh, they reckon there's about five in there with one of them being uh, Queen Queen Maeve's, the sort of the, the last one. And uh, 
she uh she supposedly the report is that how she died was she had a particular bathing spot where she should uh we should go and uh there was a there was a fellow by the name of uh, i'm trying to remember his name now fair 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 braid or something like that anyway this character his mom was uh, was killed by queen Maeve, and uh he'd been planning his his revenge for quite some time he had learned how to use a slingshot and he had perfected it so well that he could hit an apple uh, with uh, with with obviously a, a piece of a piece of stone, and um, obviously he'd waited for the right time for Queen Mabe uh, to be at the bathing spot and uh, killed her um, while she was bathing. Now apparently he he killed her with a block of cheese. Apparently, so I'm not sure how true that is. I'm not even sure how true this whole uh, the whole the whole legend is. But um, she was the Queen of Connacht, which is the area that we're in, the kind of the province. Um, there are provinces of Ireland, and Connacht is one of them and she was a ruler of that area. When we go to Roscommon, I'm gonna show you where she ruled from. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'll provide more information on that at a later date, but uh, she ruled from an area in Roscommon and uh, the site's still there and um, I've been really looking forward to showing it to you. But uh, let's have another, we'll have a good look around and uh, we'll get some more video in. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and to comment down below. It says the uh, the stone apparently is, there's a, a quarry not far from here, and that's where the majority of the stone actually came from. Um, but it's quite a substantial amount, as you can see. All mine locally and brought up. Man, what a feat. Anyway, we're gonna start making our way back. It's a Sligo Bay. Take a wander down this side here by the um, Sligo Bay area. Get a bit of a nice view there. We should be able to see Strand Hill, I think. Although well, Strand Hill might be a bit more to our left, so let's check it out. There are a lot of people here, actually. Initially, when you look from the from where the car park is going up, it doesn't look like there's a lot of people. But literally, as soon as you sit behind the, or as soon as you go behind the cairn, uh, there's a lot of people here. Wow, it really does open up here. Check this out. You've got uh, Ben Wolven right over there. <laughs> so the wind's starting to pick up now. I think that over there is Glen Carr. Again, another video in the top right hand corner. If you haven't been to Glen Carr, Waterfall and Lake, definitely check it out. And lots of cars in this video. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the content so far. Um, delighted to be bringing you more locations. Uh, Union Rock was nice. This is just fabulous. Bit of a hike to get up here though. Gotta make sure, you, make sure you're prepared. I've got one and a half liters of water in my backpack. Gotta make sure you wear light clothing and everyone's probably, I can see it, everyone's looking at me thinking, geez, where'd this guy come from? <laughs> but uh, it's actually not that bad. All the linings are out. The wind's blowing as well to keep me nice and cool. Anyway, I'll catch you later. There's a shot there of uh, Queen Maeve's camp. Put the Ox Mountains going down. It goes all the way into the Hunting Mountains. And round we're going to see Ben Bolden. Trustmore Mountains and you've got Glen and F Horseshoe in that area there. It's something I've done previously but I'll, uh, I'll definitely make a journey on that side. Show you guys. Trustmore Mountains. Glen Carr, and he starts going to Leitrim. <laughs> Just taking a quick water break, and we'll uh, start making our way down. I hope you enjoyed the view. The view's fantastic around here. A bit of history as well, in relation to the location of Queen Maeve. Um, but it's interesting, this whole area around here is just 
fill, uh, sorry, filled with Neolithic history. Uh, and you're talking 4,000, 3,000 uh, BC, so you're going back substantially. Hope you can hear me there, I've got the sound buffer on, or wind buffer, sorry. But um, I'll catch you in a sec. That's, this is my view over here. This is the, uh, we're coming down the top now. Probably not going to film all of this, you've already seen it come uh, with me coming up, so and the wind's pumping. At least the wind is it's interesting, there when you come in from there, you just, it just, you don't even see this curve, it just kind of looks like it drops off. So we're going to take the, uh, the, the path of least resistance. Because uh, that just looks like a nightmare. <laughs> this doesn't, uh, it doesn't look any better, but at least you can sort of see where, where, this, where your steps are. So the wind is pumping, it's creating my nose to run a bit. Get the hay fever a level up, but I've already taken hay fever tablets. So. Once we get How down there, actually... oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes you think how many people have actually actually walked on this site because it, man, the ground is just trodden in. Here we go. <laughs> Bit of loose gravel there, that was hilarious. Anyway, I'm really, uh, really at the bottom here, and start to level out again. And then maybe what 15 minutes to the car park. Interesting, from this area here, you can see there's a dwelling, or used to be a dwelling down there. That's where that signboard was when we were climbing up. Okay, those houses that I pointed out from the top there are actually part of a deserted village, apparently. There's a little board here that says the deserted village, this level terrace, was the central part of a settlement on the hillside which existed in the early 18, uh, 1800s, and perhaps for many years before, as shown on the Ordnance Survey map, which is just over here. I'm going to try and zoom in so you can have a proper look. The red dot on this map from 1937 shows the settlement indicates the spot where uh, you're standing. Wow, okay, so the Barachi houses, that's where we're standing, and you can see that there's actually more houses there. Interesting. Deserted village. Hmm. I wonder why the people left. This is where I'm going to end the video, uh, because once we get down here, it's pretty much back to the car park. So, guys, I hope you really have enjoyed the experience coming here to Queen Maeve's Cairn, overlooking the bay of uh, Sligo and the surrounding area. Just fabulous. Um, if you come into the area, definitely a highlight for me is here, and Union Rock was also a good spot. Um, so be sure to take your time when you come here enjoy the scenery around there there's there's loads of walks up at the top there we've only done one section of it so be sure to just maximize your uh, your trip here and give yourself loads of time but uh, thanks for, thanks for watching uh, please like subscribe and um, give me a thumbs up as well um, well that's part of the like comment down below um, uh, you guys are a bit shy uh, commenting so uh, I'd appreciate some feedback but uh, let me know what you think I'll leave you with this Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next video.